All right, everybody. What we have here is a infrared thermometer by Centec, as you can see. I picked this up from Harbor Freight uh, about maybe maybe a month, month and a half ago, and I've been meaning uh, to make a video for you on it. And uh, here it is. You can see the item number and the serial number right there. Uses two AAA batteries. Um, some more information on the side here and manufacture date is blank interestingly enough and if you look towards the bottom there um, uh, made in China definitely I don't even to see the city right there on the bottom so it does use a laser pointer so you can know what you're pointing to to record the temperature um, the output it puts is uh, less than one milliwatt and um, and the wavelength is um, 635 to 660 uh, the battery compartment is pretty um, pretty interesting. It's actually inside this handle here um, with this right here. If I can just carefully take it off. Yeah, there we go. See, it's coming off. Should have done this over here earlier. Sorry. Yep, and there's the uh, there's the two AAA batteries right there that they slide into. And uh, let me see if I can get this on safely again. Just bear with me here. Oh, there we go. See, so so battery compartment's right there, easy to hold. And I'll just give a little example. Um, you can choose between Celsius and, Celsius and Fahrenheit. So we'll just measure something here quickly, just to show you. Okay, uh, let's see. What is it on? It is. It's got to focus. It's on Celsius. Let me switch it over. Okay. I'll do both actually for you guys. We'll take we'll take the temperature of this pole here. So you just hold down the trigger, point the uh, laser, whatever you want to take the temperature of. And the current in, current temperature of this pole is uh, 57 or roughly 58 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're curious about Celsius, it's about just about 14 and a half, 14.8 or 15. Okay, you see, keeps going up and down. And uh, this thing is pretty pretty nice to have. Um, I've wanted one of these for a long time, actually. It's very simple, really simple device. You just you know hold it, pull the trigger, and then um hold it down and then I'll give you the, temp the temperature readouts of stuff. Now, I don't know exactly what the longer, what the longest distance is that it can handle, but I mean, it's probably more accurate the closer you are, like here, I'll, I'll shine it or I'll shoot it at the, um, the foundation wall there. Uh, yeah, you can see the laser pointing right there, okay? And uh, it's on Celsius, it's about 13 degrees, and Fahrenheit's about eh, roughly 55. So yeah, the closer you are, the more accurate it is, but it is pretty good with distances. And, um, and it gives you good readouts along with that. So what, I want, what else I want to use this thing on is um, my mom's going to be um, using the sinks pretty soon. So when she does, um, the water heater will obviously cycle on. And then um, once she does that um, and the water heater's going, I'll give you temperature readouts on the water heater and also on the uh, furnace down there as well. All right, guys. My mom's currently uh, using the sink, so um, you can hear that the hot water's uh, hot water heater is currently running. So um, let's have a look at the temperatures um, through here. You have um, the cold water inlet, uh, the exhaust pipe, and this is the hot water outlet. And of course, it's insulated, so we'll see how the insulation is doing. And it's a gas water heater, once again, for those of you who didn't know. So let's see. We'll we'll start with Celsius, then we'll go over to Fahrenheit. So let's see. Uh, the cold water coming in is about 14 and a half degrees. The exhaust pipe is about 44 degrees. Now the top of the fan itself is going to be a little bit hotter. You see 54 degrees. Okay. Now the insulated hot water pipe is um, it's about 28, 29. So it's doing pretty well, I'd say. Okay. Go over to Fahrenheit. Let's see what we got. We have, um, yeah, roughly about 60 degrees. That, that's pretty normal for a cold, cold water. You can see it's right on the pipe right there. Okay. The exhaust pipe is uh, about 116. I think 120 is about how hot it usually gets. So uh, that, that's pretty normal. Now uh, the top of the exhaust fan, let's see. Okay. Is about 130. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty normal that it's hotter there because um, there is an inlet on the back which I'll show you that kind of cools down the exhaust pipe. Yeah, that inlet vent is right there. You see that right there? That's where it is right there. 
And, uh, okay, so we did that. Now the, uh, the hot water pipe is, let's see, about, uh, 82 degrees, 82, 83 degrees, roughly. And like I said, the water heater is set to 140, so that installation is doing a pretty good job. And, and you can look at any other stuff you want, like, um, here, we'll just have a little bit of fun. We'll just see what the exhaust, uh, the uh, vacuum canister is. Um, I'll go to Celsius for you guys in Europe if you watch my videos. About 13 degrees and then 55 and a half degrees. Uh, the radon pipe over here. Since this is taking air from below the slab, we'll see how that looks. Let's see. Um, about 13 degrees and Fahrenheit. Yeah, about 55 and a half. So just about the same thing, really. Yeah, this is a really great device. Like, you know, if you ever want to use, um, I know like one time on, on my car, um, one of my calipers for my rear brake was sticking and it was getting really hot, so I knew something was wrong there, obviously. So this is a good tool for that, like looking at engine temperature, brake temperature, things like that. Um, if you're at all curious, um, actually, you know what? One more thing we can look at is uh, the drain pipe where she was using the hot water. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's on there. About 26 degrees Celsius and about 70, it's going back down because I think she stopped using the water. At like 74, 75, it's kind of going around. So, and you, don't, you can also see it gives you a max um, number, which means that the highest temperature it records while you're holding down the trigger is what that max number will say. So it is pretty, it is pretty cool with that. If you're at all curious about the temperature down here, it is pretty cool at the moment. I have my grandfather's uh, alcohol sunbeam thermometer, which is really cool. It's about, uh, let's see, it's about roughly, um, i got to point this correctly, sorry. It's about 53 degrees, so you can see it's pretty cool down here in the, in the winter. And that's about, uh, what is that, maybe 12 degrees Celsius? Yeah, so it's kind of cool how it does that. I think you might hear some water come down here in a minute. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> and you may be hearing a motor right now. That's just a condensate pump going. Now, what's the temperature of that water while we're at it? Kind of stay on topic here. <laughs> Let's see. Um, about 30 degrees Celsius and uh, 80, well, that's interesting, about 80 something degrees Fahrenheit. So it must still be pretty hot, or pretty warm, rather, in that, um, in that uh, drain pipe. Dehumidifier is probably the same temperature as around here, because it's, <clears throat> it's not really running. I lowered it down to 3 for the winter. It doesn't really run that much. It doesn't really need to, so that's good. You know, let's go over to the furnace and check it out. Now, I think I need to maybe just a thermostat just to get it going. And then we'll get some temperature readings from there. And for the last thing here, I guess we'll just do some... Uh, some temperature readings over here on the furnace. Now the furnace has been going for a while. It's going to uh, z zone one currently. And uh, let's see um, some of the things that it gives us. Um, I can get some temperature readings from here. We'll start with the intake and the exhaust ducts. We'll give us some temperature readings on those, okay? Let's see, there it is right there. Let's see, about, uh, now this is outside air, so that's why it's pretty low. 14, about 15 degrees Celsius, and uh, just shy of, um, We'll round it down, or no, okay, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I want to show you something on the exhaust duct, because I had told you that this never really gets too hot to touch. You can tell they're using PVC pipe. Let's have a look at that. Um, about 36 degrees Celsius, and Fahrenheit, 97. I think the hottest I ever saw this get up to is like 102. So, I mean, like I said, this, this exhaust duct is really safe to the touch, even when the furnace, is, furnace has been running for a while. So definitely um, pretty efficient in, in that regard. We can also do the front panel here too. Let's have a look at that. Let's see. Uh, about uh, 26 degrees Celsius and 79 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So um, yeah, and um, something else I want to show you guys. This is the supply duct right here, okay? You notice there's no insulation on the outside of it, but there's actually insulation on the inside of the duct, and I'll show it to you with this, okay? William, William up here above the whole house humidifier. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll start with um, Celsius. Look at that. About 15 degrees. And look at that. Just shy of 60, or about 60 uh, Fahrenheit on the outside. 
Now you know very well that there's no way that there's 60 degree air going through the inside of that duct. You can tell just how very well they designed this duct in that here's the insulated one right here on the outside, but it's also insulated on the inside here, so you're getting very well insulated heated air, which is very, very good usage. Same with the, um, with the um, return duct. You, the temperature reading on here won't, won't really indicate anything, but listen to this. You hear that? That's definitely insulated. Definitely a good system right here. And um, is this insulated too? Yep, same tear. See how that doesn't sound too um, bare, I guess? Yeah, very, very good design. And um, you know what, just for the heck of it, the, the drain pipe to the condensate pump, let's have a look at that. Okay, there it is right there. About 25 degrees Celsius and roughly 78 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That's just the warm water coming from the furnace. And, um, okay, one more thing. <laughs> this is officially one more thing. The condensate pump, um, where the water is, let's see, roughly 18 degrees Celsius and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool stuff. So like I said, guys, this is a great uh, tool to have, the infrared thermometer. Once again, this is a Centec. Again, you could find this at Harbor Freight, and I got this for, after tax, um, roughly just, just over $30. So it really isn't all that bad of a price at all, honestly. And this thing can do many, many things, which is great. Like I said, it's great for HVAC equipment, water heaters, cars, anything. You know, a very fun thing to have. And that's about it. So, um, great product. I do recommend it. And um, very helpful in many regards. So there you have it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. And take care.